KPM. Hello, Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera and a very good evening. You're watching Success SPM 2021 with me, Shafiqa Farahin Razali. And on this lovely day, you're learning Bahasa English, the language that I'm speaking today. And our topic is Eco Quiz. Ah, to know more about this topic, we should invite our teacher. But before that, kids, I would like to remind all of you to please adhere to the SOP because we haven't won against COVID-19 and you always have to wear your mask when you leave your house. Maintain a social distance of at least one meter between you and people around you. Wash your hands frequently. If you don't have a water source, wear your hand sanitizer. All right, kids, before we go any further, our topic is Eco Quiz. So so what is eco quiz? Eco stands for a lot. Economy, ecology, ecosystem. But today, what are we learning? What I know is we're learning about Mother Nature. And to know more about this, let's invite the expert for today. Teacher, mm, you want to know more? Let's take a look at this profile. Be grateful, be humble and be smart. That is the motto for our teacher today. And please let me welcome teacher Nur Hidayah from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Terap. Ya. Okay, hi teacher. How are you? Hi Shafika. I'm uh, fine. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It's very nice to have you today. And to know more about you, can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone. So my name is Nur Hidayah binti Abu Hanib. I am currently teaching in Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Trau and I have 12 years of teaching experience. Wow, teacher, 12 years? That is <laughs> a much, long actually. time. I feel like your students must be very lucky to have you. Oh, what, can you. I ask a quick question? What oh, motivates yeah, sure. you to be a teacher until 12 years? Yeah, well, teaching is my passion actually, so mm. I love to teach my kids. All right, there you go. Okay, Norhi, uh, teacher Nur Hidayah with us in the studio. And right, kids, before we go any further, please let me ask our teacher what we're learning today, right? Okay, it's called Eco Quiz, teacher. Yeah. We had so many questions just now. Can you please explain what is the uh, details of our lesson today? So basically today, we mm -hmm. will learn something that related to our Form 4 textbook, which is Full Blast. So I hope that all of you are ready. So today, we will actually do some listening activities mm -hmm. and some speaking activities. Wow, so there you have it. We already know today involves a lot of speaking and also listening, guys. So listening yeah. is very important. You can't just speak, you have to listen. And today, uh, as I know, we're learning Form 4, Module 4 for our topic, right? Yes, correct. Okay, and we're going to go full blast, just like the textbook. But before that, kids, let's first hear the opinions of our students for today's topic, right, teacher? Yes. And then, uh, but before that teacher, of course, as usual, we have to always practice our SOP. And in the studio, yes, we're maintaining a social distance here. Yeah. And teacher, I would like to invite you to wear our hand sanitizer sure. for the purpose of hygiene. And uh, okay. okay, perhaps before we hear more details about our uh, topic for today yeah. from the students, mm -hmm. maybe you can have a bit of an opinion of a sneak peek of what we're going to learn more. Okay, so basically today we are focusing on our topic on Module 7, which is Mother Nature. Oh, yeah. okay, so we've had this lesson before, right, teacher? Yes. Okay, so before we go any further, before you guys find out what exactly is the details for our lesson, let's first take a break and hear the opinions of the students for our lesson for today. See you right back on Success SPM 2021. DD TV. KPM DD TV KPM 
Hello kids, welcome back to Success SPM 2021. And today we're learning we're learning eco quiz. Uh, such a unique topic for today. Usually it's always the topic of a lesson, but today we're learning eco quiz. So to know more about this, we have in the studio with us is teacher Nur Hidayah Abu Hanib from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Terat Selangor. Okay, teacher. Yes. Before we start any lesson today, as usual on Success, we always have our six students with us today. So can I in invite them together to join Hi. us. Hello, kids. Hi. Hi. Wow, everyone's looking dapper today. <laughs> can we have uh, them to introduce uh, themselves one by one? Perhaps we can have the first student. Huh. OK, Nurul Aina, are you there? Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, hi, Assalamualaikum and hello, everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Um, my name is Nur Aina Farina binti Kamaruddin. I'm from Sambagan Trap. Okay, uh, Nur Aina, I have a very important question for you. What's your amb ambition? Can you tell me? Uh, my ambition is to be a teacher. Wow, teacher. <laughs> Inspired by teacher, maybe? <laughs> yeah, you must have taken after teacher Nur Hidayah, right? Ah, okay, yeah. Nur Aina, thank you for that. Can we have the next student, Nurul Nadra? Hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello. Salam. My name is Nurul Nadra binti Muhammad Sufyan and I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Terap. Okay, right. So these are your students, teacher. Yes. Can I know what do you want to be when you graduate? Mm -hmm. um, I want to be an accountant. Wow, accountant. Sounds big, but a very good ambition indeed, right, teacher? Yes. Okay, our next student is Khadija. Hello, Khadija. Can you introduce yourself? Hello. Hi. Assalamualaikum. My name Assalam. is Khadija Maria Minta Aizam. And I'm from Sambagan Trap. Okay, Khadija, what do you want to be when you're graduating school? I want to be a lecturer. Lecturer, wow. Okay, all right. Thank you for that, Khadija. Can we have next? Siti. Hi, Siti. Hi, hi, and Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nora Binti Basri from Sambagan Terap. Ah, okay, Siti. Okay. The ultimate question, what do you want to be when you finish school? My ambition is with Nadra okay. to be an accountant. Wow, okay. We have two accountants in the house. Okay, <laughs> yes. all right. Next, can we have Nurul Hanani? Hello. Hi, and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Hanani Hazira, Minti Kamal Zamai, and I'm from Sambagantra. Okay, Nurul Hanani, tell me your ambition, please. Yes, as I know, I want to be a teacher. Wow, okay. <laughs> all right. Teacher as well. Okay, two teachers and two accountants. Who is next? Can we ha have last but not least, Muhammad Alif. Hello. And your ambition as well, Alif. Hi. My, uh, Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Muhammad Alif Shakir bin Muhammad Ali. I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Abagantra. And I also want to be a teacher. Wow. <laughs> that means for today, we have three teachers yeah. as well as our <laughs> lovely teacher here, Teacher Noor Hidayah. Okay, all right. Students, are you ready to learn today's lesson? Can you give me a thumbs up, please? <laughs> okay, there you go. We see that students are ready and I hope all of our viewers are also ready to, to, to learn today's lesson, which is Bahasa Inggris Eco Quiz. And without further ado, the floor is yours, teacher. Okay, so before we start our lesson, let us recite a prayer. But for non-Muslim out there, so you can recite, um, yeah, uh, recite your prayer according to your belief. So, okay. shall we have uh, Ade Ali Shaki to recite the prayer, to lead the prayer? Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله الله all praises and gratefulness for you peace be upon to our prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم الله الله please receive to our prayer please forgive us and our parents please them as they did to us since we were a child please الله الله please open our heart and soul to receive your knowledge and guidance to achieve your blessings and divine goals Thank you, Allah. Amin, Ya Rabbal Alamin. Amin. Wow, I feel more energetic to <laughs> yeah. learn now. Thank you for that, Alif. A All future right. teacher to be, right? Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us move on. So today we will basically learn about um, 
eco quiz. Uh, I think everyone is wondering. It, yeah, what, what is that, right? Is that? So yeah. I hope that you guys are ready. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you have the textbook with you, it would be very helpful. But if you don't have, it's okay. You can uh, try to search from. The digital platform. Okay. Ah, we have digital textbook actually. Aha. Okay, so okay. let us move on. So remember that never stop learning because life never stop teaching. Okay. So basically this is for teachers reference. Our learning standard here, the main skill is listening, where we have to understand independently, longer, simple narrative on a wide range of family topic. And we also have complementary skills, which is speaking, use formal and informal register appropriately in most family contexts. Mm -hmm. As for students, we are actually doing three activities of listening, and perhaps they could score at least two for each activities. Okay. okay. So are you guys ready? How about you, Shafika? I am very <laughs> much, teacher. Okay, okay, let us move on to our first one, which mm -hmm. is difficulties I, um, sorry, difficulties, difficulties in listening activity. So let us ask our friends there. Mm -hmm. So do they have any difficulties when they are facing um, listening activities? So okay. shall we start with um, Nadra? Would you like to share someone, uh, something? Uh -huh. um, for me, uh, for my difficulties, I usually get distracted so easily by yeah. circumstances. Uh -huh. Wow, that seems like me, teacher. <laughs> I get distracted very uh -huh. easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about we hear uh, the opinion from uh -huh. uh, Aina Farina? Aina. Yeah, Aina? Um, my problem is I quickly forgetting what I have heard. Okay. Sorry, you forget things that you have heard, right? Okay. And the last one, how about Shakir? Would you like to share something? Uh, my difficulties in uh, listening activities is I cannot understand the accent of some speakers. Oh, okay. I see. So mm -hmm. I think uh, the students out there, um, maybe you have difficulties in listening activities, right? Mm -hmm. So basically for today, we will introduce to all of you out there and to us too mm -hmm. about the listening activities focusing to examination. Okay. So basically, I will not answer what... Um, I, I, sorry, I will not reflect on what they have shared with us. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the end of the session, after they finish our lesson for today, okay. perhaps they could answer back and they will get their answer of their um, to respond on their difficulties just ah, now. Ah, okay. okay. All right. Okay, so mm -hmm. shall we start on our lesson? Yes, uh, but before that, teachers, mm -hmm. let's remind our viewers out there yeah. take out your pens, take out your pencils, yeah. and your notebook as well. Maybe a piece of paper is just good to write down your notes because it's important today. Because for those of you who have difficulties in listening, so please pay attention, right, teacher? Yes, you can take some notes, mm -hmm. and if we have questions, so you can try it out, okay? Okay, teacher. Let's so, proceed. Let's us move to the first activity, which is our warm-up session. Okay. So, in this activity, we have to listen to the recording. So, these animals mm -hmm. are in danger. So, we have to find out why. Okay. okay. So, before we move on to the audio, so mm -hmm. I have the text here. Whenever you get a text or a question from your teacher, make sure you read the question first. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I give you some time. Please read the question silently. Okay. Okay, there's only five questions there. Mm -hmm. So make sure you read all the questions to make sure that you know what are the contents of each question. Okay. Okay, so are you guys ready? Mm hmm. Are okay. you guys ready? So let all us right. start with our first audio. Okay. These animals are in danger. Find out why below. 1. Hotter summers and colder winters are making it difficult for this monarch butterfly to survive. 2. People are destroying the forest where the mountain gorilla lives. 3. Large areas of ice where the polar bear hunts for food are melting. 4. Tourists are disturbing the leatherback sea turtle 
which lays its eggs on beaches. 5. It's illegal, but people still hunt the tiger for its skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the end of our audio. So let us check our answers. Okay. So are you guys ready? Yes, <laughs> let's see the answers. Hey, okay, let's take a look on the first one. Let me read for you. Okay, hotter summer and colder winters are making it difficult for this monarch. So what's the answer? To survive. So how Ooh, about... Huh? We'd like to try, teacher. Um, ah. Okay. Okay, can we ask one of the students yeah. to try? Anyone would love to try? I see. Ah, okay, Hadija. Okay, Hadija. Okay, please, Hadija. What is the answer? Butterfly. Butterfly. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. So the correct. answer is butterfly, but make sure the spelling is correct. Mm -hmm. B U T T E R F L Y. With two T's. Yes. Okay. <laughs> It's not butter and fly, it's butterfly. Okay, so <laughs> okay. together, no space, right? No space. Okay. Make sure the spelling is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do the number uh, second one. Okay, okay, sure. People are destroying the forest where the mountain what lives. So, let us guess the answer. So, I I'll show you the, the picture. Ha, huh, what is this? Mm -hmm. This is gorilla. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. okay. Is that correct? Was that correct, uh, students? Yes. Okay. okay they're not. <laughs> they're not. Which uh, do you want to try, mm -hmm. Shafika? On the sure. third one. Sure. Of course, I've got my notes oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the third one: uh, large areas of ice mm -hmm. where the polar bears hunts for food are melting. So let us check correct? the answer. Ah, ah, correct. But how about the spelling? Okay, let's see the spelling. Yes, polar bear. is it correct? <laughs> yes, teacher. Except that I think I heard polar bears, but it was okay. mistaken. Okay. Just one, right, teacher? Okay. Mm -hmm. But make sure we have to listen carefully. Is it with plural or singular? Singular. Okay. Okay. How about the fourth one? So, anyone would like to try? Mm -hmm. Um. How about we choose? Uh, Aina, you will you want to try Aina? Okay, Aina, what's okay. your answer? Okay. Yes, okay, please. Um, my answer is turtle. 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 So, let us check. Yes, correct, it's turtle. How about the spelling? Is it correct? T E T R T L E. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Correct. Thank you, Aina. Good job. Okay, the last one. It's illegal, but people still hunt for. What's the answer? It's tiger. Oh, wow. That's so sad, <laughs> so, teacher. Yeah, it's so sad mm -hmm. because people are still hunting for its skin. Okay, uh -huh. so the answer is tiger. tiger. So. Hopefully, the, the kids had everything yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good job, everyone. Good job. Okay, right, teacher, I would like to ask a question. <laughs> um, for this uh, segment where you have to listen uh, to improve your listening skills, yes. that means they have to listen and make sure they spell it correctly. Yes. What happens to the marks if the spelling isn't correct? Oh, cool. Basically, if you spell it... Um, uh, differently, one, yeah, differently, mm -hmm. you will not get a mark. So I make see. sure you spell uh, according to the, the the word that's supposed to be there. The I answers. see. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right, teacher. Okay, let us move on to mm -hmm. our next one. Okay. Okay. Uh, because we have heard about this word, which is endangered, so I would like to share with you mm -hmm. about the words endangered. So it is used especially for groups of animals, plants and others at risk or no longer existing. Mm -hmm. So I give you some examples here. 40% of primate species are highly endangered. These orangutans are critically endangered to the habitat loss. It's quite sad, right? What yes. happened to our mother nature? Mm -hmm. And what become worse is what has happened to Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Do I, will, I want to show to all of you out there mm -hmm. one of the most precious animals, which is this one. Huh, what is that? It's Aww. a tiger. 
It's quite sad, mm -hmm. right? Yes, teacher. So uh, this article I took from Brita Haran Online mm -hmm. on 30th April 2021. The title is Pemaisuri Rimba Penyelamat Harimau Belang Pupus. Okay. And what, just I want to raise awareness here, mm -hmm. is this one. In 2014, the tiger population was estimated at 250 to 340. But between 2016 and 2020, the first large scale national tiger survey in Central Forest Spine showed that the number of these mammals declined to less than 200. Oh no. Oh, it's quite sad, right? That's a big difference, teacher. No. Almost half of uh, yes, the number in only initially. Six years. Can you uh -huh. imagine? Mm -hmm. So, let yes. us move on to our next question. So, as a Yes, as a Malaysian or mm -hmm. as a responsible citizen, mm -hmm. what should we do? We have to do something, right? Right. Huh, so? Because if we don't do anything, teacher, yes. who else will do it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about we ask our friends here? How uh. can we protect our mother nature? Right, teacher, and we'll leave that a bit hanging. Yes. <laughs> and perhaps for you those out there, maybe you can brainstorm some ideas yes. how we can actually protect our mother nature and see if it matches with our answer um, after this. But before we go on further, let's take a break on success. SPM 2021, we'll see you right back. Didik TV, KPM. TV KPM. Hello, welcome back to Success SBM 2021, and you're still with me uh, learning about Bahasa Inggris on Eco Quiz. And we've uh, talked a bit about the topic, but to know more and to know dive further into what entails in this very topic, we'll go further with Teacher Nur Hidayah. And still with us on the line is our students at the back here from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Terap Selangor. And before uh, that, Teacher, I would like to remind all of you please to practice your SOP, right? We haven't won against COVID-19. Please practice washing your hands frequently and wear your hand sanitizer, wear your mask and maintain a social visit physical distance of at least one meter, kids. All right. So without further ado, teacher, let's continue. Yeah. Let us continue to the question. So how can we protect our mother nature? So I want to hear some of some opinion from mm -hmm. our friends here. Okay. So, who wants to start first? Can we have a volunteer first? No. Maybe you raise your choose? hand. <laughs> oh, you're... Okay, ah, please raise your I hand. I want to see who's brave here. Please raise <laughs> okay. your hand. Please raise your hand. Uh-huh. Ah. Okay, ah. there. <laughs> okay. Who is that teacher? Uh, All right. Okay, Hadija. Aina. Hadija. Is that Aina? Oh, oh Aina. Okay, Aina. Uh-huh. Um, for me, uh, we can reduce our plastic bag because, as we know, uh -huh. uh, plastic cause of environment pollution and harmful to wildlife and human health. Okay, so okay. you are reducing the, the usage of plastic bag, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to ask why. So she already <laughs> yes, <laughs> mentioned she has that. A very complete answer <laughs> yes, there. And that's not good. only plastic bags, teacher, maybe yeah. straws as well, right? Yes. That is the effort being done by our government, actually. Yeah. Ah, I hope that's... all of you are adhering to that and practice using yes. paper straws, right, teacher? Yeah. We... Ah, okay. Next, okay, we yes. have Khadija, who's been very quiet. Yes, ah. yes Khadija. Yes. Would you like to share? Uh, as a student, uh -huh. uh, we can recycle our previous exercise book. It will help the. It will help to produce the cutting trees. Ah, ah, so that means don't throw away the books, but recycle, yes, right, Khadija? Yes, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Good job. How mm -hmm. about we listen to another opinion of it? Okay, who wants to try? Uh -huh. Okay, Shaki. Uh, Shaki. Okay, please. Uh, I ride uh, the same motorcycle with my friend uh -huh. to go to school for oh. reduce to reducing the risk of air pollution. Wow. wow okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you do that, uh, Shaki? Do you already do that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, he's just smiling <laughs> there. Okay, so our friends uh, actually has shared something uh, good here, actually, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you, I know uh, these actions maybe 
it's, it is just a small action, but if you do it consistently, it's actually helping our mother nature. Right, teacher. Yeah. Mm -mm. Who else? will protect our nature. Yes, because... We are the only one. Exactly, teacher. Yeah. And just because we are doing it alone, sometimes yeah. we feel like we're doing it alone. But actually, teacher, mm -hmm. everyone else might be doing it. Yes. And because uh, we feel like we're doing it alone, sometimes we stop doing it. Yeah. So that's not good. Just keep on doing it. And yes. believe me, a lot of people will follow, right, teacher? Yes. Set a good example. <laughs> ah, okay. That's good. All right. Okay, I hope... You guys out there, we try our best to protect our mother nature. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, let us move on to this word because we are talking about eco just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay? This is actually what I've been sharing with you. Okay, eco-friendly means not harmful to the environment. So, eco means an abbreviation of ecology, ah. which is the system of the relationship between the environment and the living thing. So okay. it should, should be balanced. I see. Ah, okay, so what we have here is eco-friendly lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Just like what our friends shared just now, it is eco-friendly lifestyle. So what we have here, we can plant seeds, okay, we can stop food waste, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we have three R, mm -hmm. which is recycle, Reuse and, and reduce. Reduce. That's okay. correct. And the last one is educate. Mm -hmm. What our Ministry of Education had done is a very good, great job because we want to raise the awareness among the kids to make sure that we are protecting our mother nature. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, in our textbook, I would like to share something here, which is Eco-scientists are trying to come up with ideas to introduce environmental-friendly products into our life. Why they are doing this is because everybody buys and uses a variety of products every day without giving a lot of thought. Mm -hmm. So each of these products affect the environment, some environment somehow through the way it is made, mm -hmm. used or disposed. Okay. So you can refer this one from our textbook, which is in page... Sorry, <laughs> full glass in page 104. So, mm -hmm. I already showed here. So, these are the eco-friendly product mm -hmm. that had been done from, not Malaysia. <laughs> but everywhere, <laughs> some parts of the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So, what they have in our textbook okay. is, the first one is eco-friendly shower head. Mm -hmm. So, it has a wet shower head and also the light. Oh, ha, okay. there's a light there. <laughs> What's the function of that, teacher? Ah, so it will help you uh, when the... Yeah, usually sometimes we take shower, but the light is not enough, right? So uh -huh. the, the light will help you to... Yeah, to help Clean. <laughs> Clean yourself. Yeah, it, <laughs> basically. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the, the next one is our mobile phone with sunflower seeds. It's quite interesting, right? It is. So everyone are keeping on trending, right? Uh -huh. So everyone wants to buy new phones and... What happened to our old phones? Uh -huh. So they have come up with something here. Okay. So it's trendy from phone to flower. So in the phone, there's a seed, a sunflower seed. Okay. Ah, so if you don't want your handphone anymore, so you just need to plant it. Uh -huh. And it grew a beautiful sunflower. Oh, wow. That's the f <laughs> actually, that's the first time right? I'm hearing it. It's yeah. very interesting. It's actually from the textbook. If you want to read more, uh -huh. so you can refer to page 104. Okay, kids? For our full blast textbook. Yes. Okay. And the last one is Trendy Junkie, which is from... Recy um, so, it's created recyclable handbags. Mm -hmm. So, it's come from old car number plates. Ah, okay, but this happened go. in USA, not in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Teacher, sometimes I see people use uh, car plates as accessories as well. Oh, that's interesting. For designs and everything. Yeah, it's becoming a trend in Malaysia as yes. well. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. And you should imply that. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, so this is the things that I want to show you about eco-friendly products. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we move on to our activity. Okay, why we are sharing about all this? Because when we want to listen or having um, um, an, a listening activity, mm -hmm. we have to prepare ourselves with enough vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Because we know how to spell the words, we know how it's being pronounced. So all these are for your preparation. Okay. Okay, so let us move on to our next listening activity. Mm -hmm. So please 
listen with your heart. <laughs> so are you guys ready? So before we move on to the activity, wait for a while, I'll have here some words that might come out in the audio. Mm -hmm. So are you guys ready? <laughs> so it's not all the words, teacher, just some of it. Ah, yeah, maybe some of it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so we look at the first word, which is smog. So what is it? Okay, I'll do the first one. Maybe mm -hmm. the kids can do later uh, the, 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 the next question. So smog means a form of air pollution, a mixture of smoke and fog. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, how about acid rain? Anyone wants to try acid rain? Kids? Okay. Right. Okay. Who wants to try? Hanani? Do you want to try? What is... Oh. I think Khadija raised her hand. <laughs> Khadija uh, being so active today. Yeah, suddenly very active. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, Khadija. Okay, what is the... As in, rain that contains harmful chemicals. Yes. Mm. Let us check. Is it correct? Yes, okay. that is correct. Good job. Okay, how about fields such as coal or oil that was formed from parts of dead animals or plants? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. how about you guys out there? Try uh -huh. it. Okay, and let me show the answer. Okay. Ah, it is fossil fuels. fuels. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Next Do you teacher? want to try, Shavika? Of course. <laughs> For okay. unwanted materials in all forms that can cause harm. Unwanted material, mm -hmm. I think that would be um, biodegrade. <laughs> is that it? Or is it toxic waste? Ha -ha. Because okay. it can cause harm, that ha -ha. means it's toxic. Yeah, let uh -huh. us check the answer. Okay, I hope yes, I'm right. Yeah, my second it's answer was right. Waste. Uh -huh. Okay, how about an escape of oil into the sea or other body of water? Who wants to try? Mm -hmm. Which of the students wants to try? Okay, how about Hanani? Ah, Hanani. Hanani, quite silent today. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is oil spill. Oil spill, are you sure? Let's check. Yes, okay. correct. Oil and spill. Obviously, the last one is the last answer. Biodegrade, which biodegrade. is to change back to the nature state that uh -huh. will not harm the environment. Right, so, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with. Uh, don't you agree with me if we say that these things? Um, it doesn't look nice because one is just harmful mm -hmm. and it's not something that we like to have around us. Yes. But it looks very um, uncomfortable, such as an oil spill. Sometimes yeah. you go to the sea mm -hmm. and there's so many um, oil spill. Oil spill, and you're just like you cannot <laughs> go goodness. into that water because it's dangerous. <laughs> and it's quite dangerous. Well, yeah, just unpleasant like to the eye. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. unpleasant to the eye. The smell. Yes, and it will kill the marine too. Yes, <laughs> and that should be enough to motivate anyone yeah. out there to help clean the environment together, yes. right, teacher? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I hope we all mm -hmm. have to do some, uh, take some action. To I think this is too much for me. Yes, it's disturbing. <laughs> so we, yeah, mm -hmm. we have to do something. We have to take an action. It's okay. Maybe mm -hmm. the smallest action, but give you the biggest impact. Right, right. teacher. Okay. okay, teacher, this was our second listening uh, uh, activity segment. After activity. This. Okay, and we'll go to the third one, is it? Uh, third okay, listening. This this is the second one first. Ah, ah. okay. So to go further on mm -hmm. this teacher and for the students online as well as out there uh, watching our uh, show, please stay tuned because we're going to discover more on this topic which is Eco Quiz. So we'll be right back on Success SPM 2021. I'll see you then. Dede TV KPM. TV KPM. Hello, kids. Welcome back to Success SPM 2021. And you're still with me and Cikgu Nur Hidayah in the studio today. We're learning about Eco Quiz. And today's aspect of uh, learning is focusing on listening and also speaking. So we're still on listening, teacher. Yes. Before I go any further, let's uh, start with the lesson. Continue with the lesson. Okay. I hope that you guys are ready. So we are continuing with our second audio. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you have read the... Uh, you have read the, the question first and then we listen to the audio. Make sure that you marking on the right answer. So are you guys ready? 
Yes, let's move on. <laughs> okay. So we have the audio right Welcome now. Welcome back. It's time for the answers to last week's quiz. Jenny is here with me to reveal all. Let's see how you did at home. It was quite tricky, Jenny. It certainly was. Let's get cracking with the first question. How long does it take for a plastic bottle to biodegrade? What do you think, Tom? I think they take forever. So I say 5,000 to 10,000 years. Well, plastic bottles have only been around for 50 years, so we don't know for sure. But scientists believe that it will take a lot more than 500 years, even as much as a thousand. It also depends on where it's left for all that time. I see. Maybe I'll get the next one right. OK. Question two was about the amount of oil that can be recovered after an oil spill. I hope the answer is more than 60%, but I doubt it is. I'm afraid it isn't, and it's much less than half. In fact, they would be very lucky if they cleaned up 15%, and usually it's much less than that. And the rest of the oil? It is absorbed by the environment, killing marine life and seabirds. They try to use chemicals called dispersants to help break down the oil, but many people believe these can do more damage than the oil itself. It's always very sad to see an oil spill. What about the next question? Question three was what will the global population be in 2050? Ah, I know this one. At present, the world population is about 7.5 billion, but it will rise even more to about 10 billion in 2050. That's correct. And scientists consider overpopulation to be one of the worst environmental problems. Just how many human beings can this planet support? Absolutely. And this is linked to the next question. How much water is there on the planet? There must be less than the amount that existed 1,000 years ago because of overpopulation, am I right? Not exactly. It's important to understand what exactly is going on. You see, there is the same amount of water on Earth as there has always been. Apart from a few astronauts taking a tiny bit on space journeys, water stays on the planet in some form. However, because of issues such as pollution and overpopulation, there is less of it available to drink. That was a tricky question. Maybe it was. OK, so mm -hmm. I hope all of you are ready for the answers. Answers, OK. Yeah, so let us check our answers. So uh -huh. I hope... Can you show them on screen, right? Yeah, you can show your answers on screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, so for the first one, how long does it take for a plastic bottle to biodegrade? So the answer is... Can you show me the answers? OK. <laughs> OK. Uh -huh. oh, most of your answer B. Mm -hmm. So let us check. Yes, correct. Well, it will take no, a, a lot more than 500 years, even as much as a, a thousand years. Mm -hmm. OK, so let's move on to the second one. Okay. After an oil spill, how much of oil is usually recovered? OK, let's take a look. The answer is... A. a. Did everyone get that right? <laughs> Is that right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Everyone agrees? <laughs> Can you okay. show me the answers? <laughs> ah, ah, you're right, show me. Yes, okay. good job. So why? Because they would very, uh, be very lucky if they clean up 15% and it's usually less than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. What will the global population be in 2050? Well... <laughs> What's the answer? What's the answer? Maybe perhaps you can show me first. <laughs> okay, raise your papers. Okay, C, it's C. <laughs> C. Uh -huh, okay. Hanani. Okay, let's check. Yes, okay. correct. So Why? you guys are correct. Yes, it's rise even more to about 10 billion in 2050. 50. Okay, the last mm -hmm. one. How much water is there on the planet? Okay. How about you? You went to church, Shafika? <laughs> okay. Um, I think the answer is A, teacher, less than 1,000 hmm. years ago. Is that How correct? About, uh, okay. Ah. How about we ask our kids out there? Do you guys agree with me or do you have a different <laughs> answer? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So, can, we, can you show me the answers? Okay. 
Get your papers up. Ha ha. Okay. okay. A, B, B, C. Oh, okay. A lot of different answers there. there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us check the answer. It is? Yo, sorry. It's the same uh, amount. I see. <laughs> yeah, why? Uh -huh. There is the same amount of water on Earth. Okay. The changes are only polluted mm -hmm. uh, or the the water the fresh water the fresh water that means um it's not just the end part that you should listen it's yeah, the whole you have, audio yes you have to listen to the whole audio mm -hmm. and then you make decision okay okay teacher. Mm -hmm. so let us move on to our listening part which is we are focusing to SPM. So, okay. actually, our listening paper is paper four. Mm -hmm. um, the the code is one 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 nine, strip four. Uh, it's quite important, actually. No, it's it's really important. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's uh, involved listening skills. It has multiple choice questions, which is MCQ, and also short answer questions. So, there are four parts, and. Uh, the total mark here is 30, 30 mark, sorry, 30 marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so each part has different kind of questions. So let's move on. The skills are understanding and applying. So time allowed, it's only 40 minutes. So you are sit you are sitting in the examination hall, mm -hmm. the teacher will play the audio for you and you have to answer it properly mm -hmm. okay so each listening text is heard twice but for our session today we will not play it twice okay because it will take a longer time right teacher sorry just yeah? a quick question just okay. now we did um the listening part uh -huh. uh, we looked at the text first and then we heard the audio yeah will that same uh steps will be applied during the examination yes. oh so they're given the text first and then yes. the audio oh, so usually okay. you will get the paper first mm -hmm. okay let's move on to my next step which uh -huh. is you have to read the instruction and the text. It okay. helps you to become familiar with the text. So make sure when you get a paper, examination paper from your teacher or your um, someone who are uh, invigilate you later on. So you have to prepare yourself uh, when there's a time for you to read. So you have to read the instruction, the question to make you familiar with the text and the content. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one, please take note. This is quite important. Please inform if you have any issues or problem before the audio starts. Because if the audio starts, so it will be a problem. Mm -hmm. And the last one is focus. Pay your fullest attention while listening. Mm -hmm. So your mind, your ears, and everything <laughs> needs here. to be yeah. alert. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to our part, uh, part one. Uh, we are doing part one uh, later on. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the sample, the sample. Question one to question seven, it has seven questions. So you will hear people talking about seven different situations. So one question, one situation. Mm -hmm. And you will hear the recording twice, as I told you. So please listen properly and mark or write the answer. And then check your answer for the second time. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you did not get the answers on the first time audio being played, so make sure you jot down something there. Okay. So it will help you later on if you if you have time and then you can write the answer on oh. the paper, right? That means the audio will be played only once? Uh, twice. Twice, okay. Yeah. Okay, and the last one is, it's only um, ABC's choice. So make sure uh, in the first part, it has ABC, uh, three option multiple choice. Uh, in second part, it has ABCD choices. So make sure don't get confused. Okay, teacher, okay. all right. So are you guys ready for our last activity? I am. <laughs> okay, make sure, uh, please um, write your answers. Okay, so we will hear people talking in five different situations. For question one to question five, choose the best answer for A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you guys ready? So I hope you guys out there are ready. And we will listen to our last audio. Listen. You will hear people talking in five different situations. For questions one to five, choose the best answer A, B, C. 1. Good morning, dear. Morning, Mum. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? What do you mean? What did you just put in that bin? My rubbish. That's the recycling bin, you know. 
Really? I thought it was the big blue one. It's an easy mistake to make. Take out your food scraps. All right. Two. Did you see that documentary last night? Yes, wasn't it awful? I know. Just imagine <laughs> what it's like where we live. There are loads of factories around here. You're right. They're working day and night pumping out poisonous fumes. And where do they end up? In the atmosphere. Exactly. And when it comes down, it's not only the trees that it harms. Think about the buildings and the ancient ruins. We should start a campaign to close down the factories. What do you think? You reckon? I suppose it can't hurt to try. Three. So, let's have a look at your invention, Andrew. It's over here. Wow. Impressive looking. Does it work? Well, I took it out to sea yesterday and it worked fine. Does it need to be in water to work? I don't think so. As long as it's sunny, it works perfectly. It doesn't really work very well when it's windy, though. Will that be a problem? I hope not. Four. Hi, Claire. How was your science lesson? It was pretty interesting, actually. You're kidding. I know, it's hard to believe. We're doing a big project about the environment, and today we learnt about fossil fuels. Mr Walker told us that it takes millions of years to create fossil fuels, and we're using them up a lot faster than they're being produced. What will we do when there are none left? We should use alternative energy, really. That's what we're learning about in the next lesson. Five. You have a lovely house, Marsha. Thanks. Let me show you the kitchen. Nice. Well, I think it could do with a few new things. The oven is the same one that was here when I moved in. I need to change that. The fridge and the washing machine are quite new. My brother gave them to me when he moved house. Did he give you this dishwasher too? No, that's the only thing that I've bought recently. It was quite expensive, but it uses much less water than other similar models. That's good. Well, I like to think I'm doing my bit for the environment. Yes, and you have a lovely view of the garden from here. OK, teacher, now that we've heard that audio, perhaps uh, because we don't have so much time today, perhaps yes. you can uh, reveal the answers. Yes, uh -huh. so make sure that you guys check your answer, OK? So number one is A, number two is B. So in the circle, there's a reason why the answer, OK? Mm -hmm. Number three is B, number four is A, and number five is B. Uh, so. so from here, we can see that it's important to write down the notes yeah, that you hear yes. from the audio yes. and then make a decision, right, teacher? Yes, correct. OK, before we end uh, the program today, uh, teacher Nur Hidayah, perhaps a few words for our students out there and also our students online. So perhaps everyone has learned something today. So basically, don't worry if we have problem on listening um, activities at first. We need a lot of practices. And please take care of our nature because we need them. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's a balance between their life and our life too. So we should love them. Yes, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please take care. <laughs> of course, everyone. Please take care since we're still in this pandemic and we still haven't won, right, teacher? And of course, small efforts make a huge difference. And for those of you out there, I hope you all have digested and absorbed all the lessons for today. And before we go further, I would like to thank the students online. Thank you for joining us today. You were a great help. And teacher Nur Hidayah, thank you for sharing all the knowledge with us today. Yeah. All right, kids, we'll be here at the same time tomorrow. Tomorrow on Success SPN 2021. I'll see you again. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. And bye. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Didik TV KPM. Hi. Assalamualaikum and good day, everyone. I'm going to share with you some tips on listening during the exam. I know that some of you might face these kinds of problems. You don't have enough time to answer the question and some of you might have difficulty to understand the language. So what can you do? First, you need to go through the questions before the recording starts. Second, you need to underline any keywords or information. Number three, as you listen, 
you need to look at the pictures carefully and try to write down any notes or information that you hear. Last but not least, it is very important for you to keep calm during the exam. Okay, thank you. Hi, this is Mr. Hanint. Uh, so when we talk about listening skill, it is one of the skills that we need to also master when uh, we are learning English language. So most um, students have trouble to actually understand what they are listening to due to the tech, uh, due to the lack of vocabulary. So vocabulary is really important. So how you can improve that is by knowing the meaning of the words that you don't know and also try to figure out how the words are being actually pronounced by the English people because we are learning the language so we need to know how exactly the words are being pronounced and try to understand the meaning so that's how we can improve and my uh, helps to uh, SPM candidates 2021 is for you to uh, start uh, to study early and do your routine and I hope that you are going to do well for your SPM okay good luck